Hey, how's it going tubers? I'm out working on another project today and I thought I'd bring you along with the process. Um, if you've uh, checked out any of my older videos, I built this uh, ATV trailer um, and it was an old scrap trailer from years ago and it was a full-size road trailer. So I went to town on it, cut it all down, welded all the axles back together. You can check out that video and uh, I can actually, I'll put a link in the description below and you can check out uh, that series that I put together for building this. Um, now it's been two years and uh, of heavy use. We use this all the time in the bush to get wood and uh, I use it to go back and forth from our campsite. So um, we already replaced this wheel this year, the other one uh, let go. So as you can see on this side, this one hasn't been replaced and it's got a bad leak so that's going to be one thing I got to work on today but today's first project of today is the way I have this set up is you just put a, a pin through there and that holds it onto the ATV but this distance here is too much for if you're trying to make a tight turn in the bush so what I'm going to do is I'm going to revamp the way this is all put together here so as you can see right here I'm going to pull these pins out here hopefully get this bar off of there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the way it's attached I want to have a swivel right here so that when you're turning in the bush it doesn't put so much stress on this joint or on these welds that are holding this on so that's the process at hand so what I've got to do is I've got to get this apart first and uh, and then I've got to get all the components together for making it to uh, actually swivel at that point so we'll be back here in a little bit once I uh, get this all all these bolts broken loose and see if I can get this piece off alright well tried for about uh, half an hour to get those I got the, the two bolts out but where let me show you here where the two layers were so fused together there was just no way I was going to get that apart so I ended up taking out the grinder and the little air grinder and uh, cutting across here which works out fine too I'm just going to put my plate right onto there so now I've just got to break this last part off here and that's how much I'm taking off um, I'd say it's uh, about two and a half feet so that's really going to shorten up the trailer which will be so much nicer um, so now what I'm going to do is just cut this last little bit here and then get this all cleaned up and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so now that I've got all that cut off and uh, all cleaned up, what I'm going to do is I'm working on getting this hitch off here. This is an old hitch for a vehicle that I had welded on there. So I'm just taking the little air cut off tool here, cutting all these welds and uh, going to get this broken loose. And then this will actually be cut just a little bit shorter probably just on, uh, I'm guessing, probably around here. And then, this is the sheet of steel that I'm using. I'm gonna cut uh, two squares out of this, and then uh, that will be where my pivot point is, and I'll uh, grease all in between there, and it should be good. So, I'm not gonna bore you with uh, watching me do this part, because I'm just cutting. So, uh, we'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, well that's all cut apart now and uh, as you can see it's double walled and now I just got to get it all cleaned up with the grinder and then we'll start working on cutting the plates and uh, I went and got all the hardware for the for the swivel so we can put all that together and uh, we'll be back here in a little bit all right I got this uh, all cut now this was uh, quite the task to get these both cut all I've got is a grinder I uh, wish I had a set of torch or a plasma cutter, but I don't. So I have to cut everything by hand, and uh, or not by hand, with a, with a grinder, and it does take quite a bit longer. So anyways, so I got these two just clamped together with the, the vice grips. And so now uh, I just want to clean up the edges, and then I'm going to sand these down to get them back down to steel so that uh, I can weld with them, and then I've got to drill my holes in the center and uh, and then we can get everything else hooked up. So I'll be back here in a minute and uh, after I get these sanded down and we'll start laying everything else out. Okay, so I got those both uh, cleaned up and they're all nice and shiny now. And uh, I've been progressively going through the drill bits to uh, get up to this half inch size that I needed. Okay, so 
now I've got the holes drilled and uh, now there's the I've got the way I've got this set up is that uh, this spring right here you can see there's a washer this is a half inch bolt and it's an A grade so it's a it's a really strong bolt and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tack this spring right here and tack it right here just so it doesn't flop around in here because there's a tiny bit of play around the spring and then there's my two plates and then the washer and then the two nuts and then I'm probably gonna put a little tack here too just to make sure that this doesn't ever come apart and then uh, but before I do all of that and then obviously I'm gonna take this is gonna go on I'm trying to do it through the camera it's gonna go on like that and uh, then it'll be able to pivot and this end will go onto the trailer and be welded on the back side of this plate and then on the inside of this plate so before I do all of that I'm gonna take it back apart and I'm gonna take my uh, white lithium grease and I'm gonna pack grease in all in between these two plates here just so that uh, there's no friction and it'll last a long time in there so um, alright well I'm going to uh, get that done and then we can uh, start on the other parts of it okay guys well I got uh, the rest of it all put together got this all welded on here and I did go extremely heavy with the welds I wanted to make sure that this would uh, be able to take the abuse and not break on me so as you can see you got the washers welded now that and uh, still a bit wet from the paint and I just painted it and I wanted to paint this bolt and everything that's inside here just so it lasts a lot longer just in case any water does get in there um, it'll have to go through a couple layers of paint first uh, I didn't paint the back of this because that still needs to be welded onto the trailer but uh, you can look outside it's pitch black now and I can't really uh, get out there and weld like yeah, you guys can't even see anything on the camera at all. So, um, that's where it's going to get welded to, right by that can there. And, uh, so that'll, uh, I'll do that in the morning and, uh, catch that on video. And then we'll, uh, do a little test. But, uh, I already did stick it in the vise here. Gave it a pull. It, uh, you can pull it a little bit and then it pulls right back at you. So that is a pretty good spring on there. And as you can see, I tacked it all the way around the top of the spring onto these washers just because there is a bit of play around the the actual bolt so I wanted to make sure it wouldn't slop around in there so now it's nice and secure and uh, yeah it's really coming along so all right well we'll uh, I'll be back in here in the morning and we'll uh, get the last part of this video so talk to you then all right guys well it's the next day and uh, I didn't start recording this right away but uh, I put a little uh, grease fitting in there and just tap that in there with my tap and die set. So it's uh, it's ready to go wel or be welded onto uh, this tip here that you see. So that's going to be the next step. So just to set up for that. And this first one's going to be kind of a tricky weld because I gotta hold it in place and weld at the same time. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually just gonna grab my sponge here. Something to kneel on on the ground while I'm welding this. make sure that I got everything nicely lined up before I start to weld anything. Make sure I got everything nice and square. It's good right there. make these really strong welds and not uh, not in any big rush to get this done so I'm gonna make sure it's nice and strong
and tap everything first. The bottom I'll do after. And uh, that's kind of the process. It's going to take me a little while to weld this up real thick, so I uh, won't record all of that, but I'll bring you back here when I'm done this, and we'll uh, go from there. All right, well, there we go. It's all done now. Um, I'm just going to let it cool here for a little bit, and uh, I just packed some grease in there, too, with the nipple. So everything's all welded all the way around. Nice. I put It's all double welded just to give it uh, extra strength. And then... Uh, and then yeah, I'll just give it a quick paint and see if I can lift this up and show you here. Stick you back here on the tripod here for two seconds. All right. So now, once I get this hooked up to the four-wheeler, now if I go over bumps and stuff, the whole trailer can turn and pivot on that point. And when I take off, there's, it's really hard to pull out, it's a pretty stiff spring, but it'll allow for a little bit of dampening and uh, when I'm trying to climb hills and stuff like that and uh, my initial takeoff, it should uh, dampen that a little bit. So, but there you go, that was uh, not too bad of a project, pretty basic tools to do that and uh, it should make a big difference going through the bush now and uh, having the trailer be able to sit level when uh, when the four-wheeler's not so but uh, thanks a lot for everybody checking this video out and uh, I'll talk to everybody soon and I'll be uh, making lots more videos so uh, please remember to subscribe and uh, click that thumbs up if you could and uh, we'll talk to everybody soon so have a great day